Landing on Mars is known as the seven minutes of terror. A successful landing makes you want to celebrate. Touchdown confirmed. Touchdown, we have touchdown. Extra zone. But why exactly is getting to the red planet one of the toughest things in space travel? It's because the distance between Earth and Mars constantly changes, because each one orbits the Sun at different speeds and distances, from around 401 million kilometres to more like 56 million. About every two years, the two planets are in the perfect position for us to get to Mars with the least amount of rocket fuel. Three, two, zero. But this journey still takes about seven months of cruising through space. If the launch goes well, and you make it to Mars without your spacecraft being damaged by solar flares or something else, you've then got this really tricky business of how to actually land on the red planet. The spacecraft will be traveling at tens of thousands of kilometers per hour, but then it's got to enter Mars' atmosphere at exactly the right angle. Too steep, and it'll melt and burn up. Too shallow, and it'll bounce off. The atmosphere on Mars is 100 times thinner than it is on Earth. Parachutes and a heat shield are needed to slow the capsule down. Airbags and retro rockets, that's rockets that fire in the direction that you want to travel, are also used for a safe landing. The biggest spacecraft use jetpacks to hover above the planet and gently lower equipment to the surface on cables before disappearing off. Oh, and did I mention the surface? Cliffs, craters, caves, it's rocky. If you don't hit your landing site, there could be trouble. And even if you master all of that, you've got to keep your fingers crossed that all your scientific equipment has made it there in one piece. On the other hand, it is the planet that is most similar to Earth in our solar system. And if we go and study it, then we'll continue to learn more about it. Mm -hmm.